okay, let's say you're over age 50, you're past menopause, and you've had, let's say, three UTIs in the past year. Your doctor gives you an antibiotic again, but they keep coming back again and again. So what are you going to do? In this video, we're going to walk through five of the most common treatments for chronic urinary tract infections that you get after menopause. I'm also going to show you the one solution that's the most effective and that has the fewest side effects. So let's start simple with drinking more water. You've probably heard this before. A randomized controlled trial asked women to increase their water intake by about a liter and a half per day. That's about 50 ounces. It's kind of a, a big jug. The result is they had significantly lower UTIs. If you're not already drinking enough water, this is one of the easiest and most natural things that you can try. Our second strategy for chronic UTIs is emptying your bladder right after intercourse. There's not much hard science behind this one. There are no big randomized trials or anything, but it still shows up in every UTI prevention guideline because it just makes sense. Having uh, Going to the bathroom after you have sex flushes out any bacteria that might have been introduced. Let's talk about cranberry supplements for chronic bladder infections after menopause. Cranberry products have gone from maybe folklore to evidence-based in the last few years. Cochrane Review in 2023 found that cranberry supplements do reduce UTI risk. A 2025 randomized trial showed daily cranberry capsules cut UTI rates nearly in half. Now, this isn't a guaranteed fix, but for some women, cranberry can help with those chronic UTIs. And then there's something called methenamine hippurate. Methenamine is a non-antibiotic medication that helps acidify your urine and keeps bacteria from growing. Methenamine helps to reduce chronic urinary tract infections in postmenopausal women by turning into formaldehyde when it reaches the bladder but only if the urine is pretty acidic. Formaldehyde kills bacteria in the urine, and that lowers the chance of getting a new infection. Recent trials and consensus guidelines from different physician organizations show that methenamine is safe and effective, especially in women with more acidic urine. Methenamine doesn't contribute to antibiotic resistance, which we'll talk about, and it's generally well tolerated. It's a reasonable next step if hydration or cranberry don't really help. I mentioned that methenamine is not an antibiotic, but sometimes an antibiotic might be necessary. You've probably seen it prescribed to treat an active UTI, but also prophylactic antibiotics can be prescribed to keep bladder infections away. If you've had three or more UTIs in a year, your doctor might suggest a low-dose daily antibiotic as a preventative, often a nitrofurantoin. That strategy definitely works, no question, but it's not without risks. Antibiotic resistance can mean bacteria no longer responds to antibiotics. The bugs sort of thumb their nose at the antibiotics. We've seen it all before. Regular antibiotics can cause major gut microbiome disruption, means the healthy bacteria in your gut are also killed along with the bad bacteria causing a UTI, and that can cause some long-term problems. Sometimes allergic reactions to antibiotics can be a problem. My wife is allergic to nitrofurantoin because of this, this issue. Most guidelines say it's best to save antibiotics for when other measures fail, kind of a last ditch. Here's a bonus strategy, probiotics. Antibiotics kill bacteria, but another strategy for UTIs is to introduce more bacteria. That's called probiotics. A 2025 meta-analysis found that lactobacillus-based probiotics can slightly reduce the risk of UTIs, but the effect is kind of modest. Most experts don't see probiotics as a real viable first-line strategy. The real reason women get chronic urinary tract infections after going through menopause isn't because they have a cranberry deficiency or a methenamine deficiency or an antibiotic deficiency. After menopause, a drop in estradiol leads to changes in your urinary and vaginal tissues that make it easier for bacteria to cause urinary tract infections. Over 30 randomized clinical trials, along with multiple medical guidelines, confirm that vaginal estrogen dramatically reduces UTI recurrence rates in postmenopausal women. It works by restoring the vaginal lining and rebuilding the microbiome that protects against infection. 
whether it's estradiol cream or vaginal tablets, a silicone ring or a compounded trochee, all these forms deliver estrogen directly where it's needed to the vaginal tissues, and they don't raise your overall hormone levels. Vaginal estrogen is safe, it's effective, the most evidence-based way to prevent chronic urinary tract infections after menopause. So yes, drink more water, go to the bathroom after sex, try cranberry, consider methenamine, but if you want a lasting fix, the most powerful proven solution to recurring UTIs is restoring estrogen to the vaginal tissues. Estrogen helps to keep the lining of the vaginal area and urinary tract thick, moist, and healthy. When estrogen falls, these tissues become thin and dry, and that makes it easier for bacteria to enter and cause infections. Estrogen supports the growth of the good, healthy bacteria like lactobacillus in the vagina. These good bacteria, often referred to as the vaginal microbiome, help protect against harmful bacteria that cause UTIs. Without enough estradiol, the balance of bacteria changes and the harmful bacteria can be more prominent. Estrogen helps the body make natural substances that fight off bacteria. When estradiol is low, these defenses are weaker, so bacteria can easily multiply and cause infections more easily. Lower estradiol makes it less acidic in the vagina, an environment that's easier for infection-causing bacteria to survive. Because of these changes, postmenopausal women are at higher risk for repeated UTIs. Treatments like vaginal estradiol can help restore the health of these tissues and lower the risk of future infections. If you want to learn more about vaginal estradiol and why I strongly believe that every postmenopausal woman should at least be offered vaginal estradiol, check out the video here. And if you'd like to understand how hormone optimization can help not only with recurrent UTIs, but also with hot flashes, with sleep, with mood, and protection from long-term health risks, take a look at my Hormone Optimization Masterclass at simplehormones.com optimal. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.